For almost a week in Liman, liberated by Ukrainian troops, the bodies of those killed during the occupation are being exhumed. Burials were found at two locations. According to preliminary information from law enforcement officers, about 200 civilians were buried in one of them. The second burial is a mass grave for the Ukrainian military. <laughs> 55 bodies have been already exhumed, but work continues. These are civilians, the local population and our defenders, servicemen of the armed forces of Ukraine. For more than four months, the city was under the occupation of the Russian army. The causes of death of all those buried will be established by forensic experts. However, law enforcement officers already report that many people were killed as the result of artillery shelling. <laughs> The official causes of death will be established by forensic experts, but preliminary it is injuries from exploding mines, shrapnel and bullet wounds, and we do not exclude that among the civilian population there is death as a result of torture. Not all graves have plates with at least some data about the deceased, but according to law enforcement agencies, there are children among the victims. Now the national police are preparing samples for examination and identification of everyone who was buried here. All war criminals should be punished, preferably in an international court. I believe that Russia, as a prison of the peoples, including the indigenous peoples who are brought here to fight, the Buryats, the Caucasian peoples, Russia must fall and such evil should not be repeated in any form. The occupation in Liman lasted for four months. As a result of shelling by the Russian army, about 80 percent of the city's infrastructure was damaged. Every tenth residential house is destroyed or damaged. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Olena Gramova, UATV News.